Georgia. Georgia, say hello and Merry Christmas to everybody. Okay, enough said. Hello, this is Sister Slayash, everyone, and happy holidays. We are spending Christmas here in the hot winter. So, yeah. It's a little cold, even though it's like, they said it's like 50 degrees here. It feels like it's 30 degrees, but yes, this is our little view of the city. This is she party. So, yeah, we're gonna do some. No, whoa, whoa! Peach, no! Oh! Jay! I'm Hello, everybody. Today, we're gonna focus on finding the perfect lip color for you. That could be a lip gloss, lipstick, even a lip balm. So, if you've been watching any of my videos, you may have seen my video on how to pick out an eyeshadow palette using the love method. If you haven't watched that video, just take some time to go down in my description box. I'm going to link it down link it down there so you can watch that video. It's going to help you pick out the perfect eyeshadow palette for you. And I'm going to do the same thing about lip color today. And how I'm going to help you pick out the right lip color is by establishing this acronym called POUT. POUT. P-O-U-T. I know it sounds crazy, but once I explain it, it's gonna make perfect sense. And once you use this method, it's gonna help you purchase the right lip color for you, and it's also gonna help you determine if you need it or not. So we're gonna start with the letter P, price. Price is probably one of the most important things when you're looking for a lip color. Most lip colors, they range anywhere from a dollar all the way up to like $100, depending on the brand. And price, it could be, it's based on the individual. What do you feel is valuable enough for you to pay a certain amount for a lipstick? Is it a few grams? Is it a couple ounces of product? What is that number that justifies the amount that you're gonna pay for a lipstick? Usually your average is probably gonna be around 10 to $20 for a lip color. So before you decide to purchase any lip colors, you want to set a budget based on what you can afford, what you're comfortable with paying, and also a budget that justifies the quality of that product. If it is a dollar worth of lipstick, which may mean maybe not the best pigmentation, maybe not the best texture, then why would you pay $15 for a lipstick that's really like worth a dollar? So how are you going to find out what's the right price for a lip color, just to go around and kind of sample things and see how they wear on the lip before you decide that you want to pay a certain price for a certain product. So P stands for price and stands for two things, purpose. So when you're looking at a lip color, let's say if you're an attorney and you go to MAC or Inglot and they have a lime green lipstick and you work maybe a five or sometimes six day work week, and you don't really have a social life and you don't really go out or party like that. So you have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of me purchasing this lime green lipstick? It's not like I can wear it to work. So that's gonna help you determine if you need that product and if that product is gonna be of any use to you. So the P stands for price and purpose. So before you purchase your next lipstick, determine the price and the purpose of the product, which is gonna help you determine if you're gonna use it. Number two, the letter O. O stands for opacity. And opacity is really the depth, the value, and the intensity of the color. Do you want the color to be more sheer? Do you want the color to be more opaque? Um, a lot of times, lusters or glosses are gonna have more of a sheer tone and more of a, um, more of a glossy, shiny, um, look to it so it's not going to be as opaque as a matte lip cream so you want to just determine okay is this opaque enough for me can I get the right amount of color with one or two swaps because you don't want to continuously layer lip color on your lip and it's not as opaque as you would like it to be so opacity is or opacity I'm, I'm southern and sometimes I butcher words but sugar so you want to make sure that color is opaque enough to meet your needs. So that's number two. Number three, 
the letter U. U stands for undertone. And undertone is probably one of the most important, least talked about things when looking for a lip color. We like to talk about undertone for eyeshadows, we like to talk about undertones for blushes and foundations. However, a lot of times we neglect to discuss how important undertone is for a lip color. A lip is usually gonna be a focal point of your face. So somebody's gonna look at your eyes, they're also gonna look at your lips and also your teeth. So you'll find that a lot of yellow undertone or sometimes neutral undertone lip colors will make the teeth look a little more yellow or more beige. So if you want to focus on making your teeth look brighter and whiter, you want to use a blue or a cool undertone. And also when using un cool undertones, especially if you are African American or dark skin complexion, you want to make sure that you're using a liner to kind of contrast that undertone because you don't want the lip color to make you look too washed out. Um, a perfect example of a cool tone lip color that can go right or left is a color by MAC called Stone. It is a matte grayish brown. And I've seen stone on dark skin tones where it may look beautiful and it may accent the skin. And I've also seen it where it can make a person look dead or washed out or even look like they were a heavy smoker. So the difference what made one person look washed out and another one look completely fine is a lot of times if a lip color doesn't match your undertone, you can counteract that with a lip liner and a nice lip gloss to complement it to where it doesn't clash and make you look washed out or gray. So also you wanna make sure that when you're getting ready to purchase your next lip color, you wanna discuss and focus on the right undertones for you. You wanna swatch it on your arm because a lot of times on your arm, you can see your natural undertones and you also want to put it on your face and see how it matches up against your teeth. All right, Boo Sugar? So don't forget about that undertone. All right, now for our fourth and final one, the letter T. T stands for texture. Texture, texture, and more texture. Texture is extremely important because that's where you find whether a lipstick is going to get used or wasted and forgot about. If it doesn't feel comfortable on the lips, you're more than likely never gonna wear that product. So when it comes to texture with lip colors, there are so many different types of textures. Um, a lot of times they could be sheer and glossy. They could be matte and a little more dry. Even um, some of them are like blotted or retro matte which is extra dry some may be creamy which can give off a lot of color or it could be creamy and sheer so you want to find out what feels comfortable on your lips if you have dry lips i would not recommend a matte color and if you decide to do a matte color i recommend a lot of crimping and priming before wearing that color I would recommend wearing a, um, using a overnight lip mask for um, dryness, maybe a brand, I think it's a brand called Laneige. They have an overnight sleeping mask that works really good. Um, sometimes you can use Burt's Bees as a sleeping mask and you can sleep in that and that can provide extra moisture. You wanna make sure you're exfoliating your lips and removing dead skin at least twice a week, no more than three times a week because you don't wanna over exfoliate your lips that can create even more damage and dryness. So if you have dry lips, you wanna make sure your lips are exfoliated and you're on a moisturizing and conditioning regimen before you wear a matte lip color because what will end up happening the lip color will break down and it'll settle into fine lines and it's not that sexy, okay? Now, if you have lips that are larger, my lips are kind of big, you want to make sure you're thinking about the texture again because you don't want anything too shiny because sometimes it could be too intense and too much and it just it make you look real, just nasty like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want your lips to be out. Shiny. You don't want to be looking like the gremlin, the female gremlin from Gremlins. You remember her with the bright red lipstick, the blue eyeshadow? She was hideous as hell. You don't want that effect. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to texture and how comfortable that lip color is going to be on the lip. And the best way to find that out is to test lip colors out before you buy them. And also, a lot of times you may, I see a lot of people, especially since I've been in this business, where they would try lipstick on and look at the color and be like, 
Okay, I like this color. She cute. Sold. And then you see them maybe two weeks later and they're making a return or it's under their medicine cabinet, I mean under their cabinet and they're not using it because like, oh my God, that lipstick, oh my goodness, it's so dry. It don't, it, it don't look good. It flakes. It does this. It does that. I would treat lipsticks just like foundations. Never, ever, ever buy a lipstick on your first day in time trying it. Never. Pop, put, try the lipstick on, wear it for a while. I would say wear it from anywhere from four to six hours to see how it, the color holds up, how the texture feels on your lips, and then buy it. That's gonna keep you from wasting money, and it's also gonna keep the price point low for other products in the future, because the more returns you make, the more money that brand loses, which means they have to recoup that money they lost and jack up the price of the product. So it really helps to try on a lipstick and wear it for a while and see how that texture works for you before purchasing a lip color. All right? So that is it for me today. I'm going to finish enjoying my vacation in Urch Lunter. And thank you again for watching. If you don't hear me or see me before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas and a blessed, generous, and prosperous New Year. And once again, Boo Sugar, thank you for watching. Oh, I just thought about something. I'm about to let you off easy. If you have not subscribed, or hit that like and notification button, and if you haven't commented, what you waiting on, Boo Sugar, huh? You done sat here, you done watched my big mouth, two chin self, talk through this whole video. And you hadn't liked and subscribed, here what your problem is. All I want for Christmas is you to be a part of the Slay Nation. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I love it, and I'm not editing it out. That was totally unplanned, but it's sexy as hell. So that's how I'm feeling about this new year. So once again, like, subscribe, and come back and send me a boost sugar. Don't forget, pout. So get ready to buy the next lip color. Think about pout. Hit the jump again. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Gonna get us I know we're going to get kicked the hell no, out the hotel. Here yeah, we at home. We ain't in Memphis. We can't be acting ratchet like that. Oh, my God. <laughs>